Well, something is going on on Crockett Island. Miraculous events, but do they come at a price? Hmm. She better stay inside here to tell us about this thrilling limited Netflix series is a super talented actress who BuzzFeed describes as one of the most heartbreaking cries on television. Please welcome my bestie, Miss Kate Siegel. Yay. Good, good morning, Kate. Good, good morning. Just so you know, as that clip was playing, I looked away. I didn't even see, I just heard a sound and I screamed. Did you hear my scream? <laughs> I did hear you scream, and it's music to my ears. Oh my! See, that's how you like you you, you scary horror spooky people always say that you love it when I we know. react that way, and then my heart I is know. like, oh no. But uh -huh. we will get to midnight mass in a minute. But how was your Thanksgiving? Did you host, cook, eat a lot? Like the oh rest my of gosh, us? it was actually amazing. I was up north in Vancouver, and mm -hmm. I ended up cooking a Thanksgiving dinner for all of the little expats who haven't been home for the holidays. Oh. And so it was a little orphan Thanksgiving and it was really, really enjoyable. I got to do a vegan gravy for <gasps> the first time. Yeah, very proud, very proud. Because I can't and have dairy, so that's music to my ears then. Oh, it's wonderful. There's so many great like non-dairy, non-animal product options out there for almost everything right now. Oh, good to know you even better now, Kate Siegel, because now I know oh. who to ask for vegan gravy recipes. But <laughs> you talk about cooking for a lot of people for things. I mean, like you don't have like a, a like a packed enough schedule already because you've been nonstop working Midnight Mass, The Haunting of Bly Manor, The Haunting of Hill House and your movie Hypnotic, like all the genres like you already know that raise my blood pressure. By the way, would you say, Kate, that one of the best parts of working on most of these projects is because it's a family affair with Mr. Flanagan? Oh, absolutely. I am lucky enough to work with people I love and respect. And I think, you know, at that point, Dianu, that's all you can ask for. Mm -hmm. And so I keep going back for more. And when I say Mr. Flanagan, I hope people understand, like people who don't know that he is your husband. Because I said, Katie, husband. Yes. yes. <laughs> for those Truly who don't know. Because I said Mr. Flanagan and they're like, who? Uh, if we know that it's it's your husband and you guys have worked together on a, ho a whole lot of things together, spooky things. And we showed a little peek from Midnight Mass and not sure why your character is like going, even going to the window to watch them, like to look out for what, where the noise is and why That's something's going what on. What could be on an island? It's a lovely fishing island, a small community. What could possibly go wrong? And you know, the crazy thing is like when we think, when someone hears Midnight Mass, during like for other people it's like yeah midnight mass yeah but for your midnight mass is completely different well it's true i will say this during this time of year surrounded by family kind of uh, having reuniting with people you haven't seen in a while we all need an excuse to scream very loudly <laughs> for that we offer you midnight mass all right so talk to us about your character and what we can expect Aaron from her Green. Is a school teacher on the island. She has kind of a dodgy history and has come back home to the island where she grew up to escape her life. And she's hoping to find a safe harbor there and maybe a little bit of a low key life. And spoiler alert, that does not happen for her. Yeah, yeah. All right, so like, so this is me. Oh my God, I am the worst person ever. And like I said, busy woman that you are. We have a clip from your movie Hypnotic, which is also on Netflix. Let's take a look and we'll which, which, which I'll discuss. Great. No, look, see, it says here in the article, Andrea Bowen told her family that she was experiencing missing time. That is what happened to me. It was hours after I had lunch with Dr. Mead where he suggested that I have Brian over for dinner. It just feels like a big leap. Look at the background check. You ran a background yes, check? Yes, look, the only address listed is his office. There's no private residence. There's no employers. There's no unpaid parking tickets. The man is basically a ghost until six months ago when someone takes out a restraining order. This Ay, ay, ay. Who is this ghost, Dr. Kate? And what oh, is Dr. going on? Oh, so Jen is having a real hard time in life. She's lost her job. She's having trouble in her relationship. And so her best friend, Gina, who you saw in that clip, mm -hmm. sends her to her hypnotherapist, Dr. Mead. And like most of my movies, things do not go mm -hmm. as planned. And so have you ever been hypnotized? Would you ever be hypnotized? No, I actually am very afraid of magicians and... and <laughs> 
and hypnotics in general. I don't like losing control. I don't like the idea that someone could make me cluck like a chicken or bark like a dog. I don't want any of that action. If I'm going to be a fool, I'm going to do it on my own terms. Right, exactly. Okay, so when we're not binge watching all your projects on Netflix, many people will probably be doing some Cyber Monday shopping. And as a mom, how far ahead do you start shopping for your family for the holidays? I try to get that out of the way as quickly as possible because especially now, I think it's important to shop local. Mm -hmm. And so I like to go to stores early. I like to walk around, especially with toys and kids stuff. You want to pick it up. I'm trying to keep all of that plastic out of my house. And so I have to balance between my daughter who really wants a Barbie dream house and me who wants like an heirloom wooden dollhouse. Mm -hmm. I have to find a nice middle ground for both of us to compromise. Oh, you are such a great mom, great actress, the most heartbreaking crier, which I've been practicing. You want to see? <gasps> yeah, show me, show me. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Look at that. Oh, but that's, my God. that's the start of my cry. I'm not going to get into the, so what is it, what is it, what does a heartbreaking cry mean for you? I know what it means for me because it's wrenching and makes you want to cry with that person and feel the person. So as the best heartbreaking crier of all time, I'm putting that on there. Like what goes into it? Well, for me, a lot of it is about making the audience cry, right? Mm. So people tend to cry. When they start to cry, they try not to cry. Mm. So the real secret to being a heartbreaking crier is trying not to cry. Huh. That's what I'm doing you right know. now. <laughs> You're lying to me, Kate. Thank you so much for spending time with us this morning. And there's plenty of Kate to be seen on Netflix. Her limited series, Midnight Mass, is currently streaming, and also her movie, Hypnotic. She will hypnotize you with her talents, I'm telling you. So be prepared. Thank you, Kate.